Oh, fuck, it's all over my shirt. Mm. Well, anyways, he asked me, well, I've been talking to him, and then he asked me, do you want to go out? And so practically this is a date. I might be meeting my first husband, so I mean, whatever. Well, anyways, I'm going to send you my location, just in case I die. That'd be embarrassing. Or if I'm doing it, whatever. Either way, I'm sending you my location. Bye, I love you. You look a little different from your profile photo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I shaved. Yeah. <laughs> so this is new. Uh, wow, you've never been to Charlie's before? Oh, no, I have. I've just never gone out and literally grabbed drinks with a hookup before. Oh. <laughs> and I've never been out with Latina before, so that's a plus. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh... Well, I've, uh, I've never uh, been murdered and thrown out into a dumpster before, so hopefully we have that in common. <laughs> yeah, so I see. Couldn't quite tell, because I thought we were used to being a little messy in public. Oh, shit. Oh. that get there? <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing you don't like to have a good time. <laughs> well, no, I do. As long as it's in good taste. Slamming those beers, huh? <laughs> well, it is happy hour, so <laughs> you seem to be taking time on yours. I'm just trying not to get too ahead. All good. So, what do you do? Went for work? Yeah. I am the business manager for a beauty and skincare line. Oh, nice. Uh, what company is it for? It's secluded. I know who you guys are. You guys are the little mall kiosks, right? I think I've seen you before. No, 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 not at all, no. We're, we're a lot more exclusive than that. Oh. Hence the name. Mm -hmm. Sounds fancy. Oh, it is, yeah. Mm. And what do you do? Me? Yeah. Uh, well, I, um, I, work, I work for, actually, I, I work for a marketing company. I just started just recently, just down the street, not too far. Huh. And you are? I, I, I um, I'm a lot of things, actually. I, uh make calls, answer, uh, schedule clients, um, you know, marketing stuff, a lot of stuff. So you're the office front boy. Uh, well, to be honest, actually, I don't know. Um, but hey, it works, it, it, wor it beats working retail and, um, you know, gotta get my feet wet a little, so. Sounds shitty. Well, yeah, but um, I mean, gotta, gotta start somewhere. Sure. All right, Jack, let's play a game. It's Jake, actually. Okay. Ooh, okay, let's do this. Let's pretend uh, what we, uh, that we're gonna figure out what these workers are conspiring on. I'll be homegirl in the white shirt, you'll be the other one. Why? Because it's fun. Okay, okay, ooh. Okay, homegirl in the white shirt is telling other homegirl that they have to figure out where they left the dead body. Okay, your turn. Why do you keep mentioning dead bodies? I don't, I just, I, I know, I just, I just, I'm trying to make it a point that I don't want to be one. <laughs> but, okay, your turn. Okay. Well, I think it looks like the girl in the white shirt is okay. telling the other girl that she should shave more often because the white girl's shirt is tired of coughing up hairballs. Okay, not the direction I was going for. That was kind of mean, but all right, work. Yeah, as fun as that was, Let's just go back to my place. Okay, uh, ooh, mind if we grab these shots real quick? Hey, look, I get it. I would drink too if I were you. Uh oh? Well, I mean, I, I don't mean to be judgmental, but you were just telling me how you're stuck working in a random office and you don't really know where you're going. I'm sure I did say that, but you're making it seem like I'm some kind of mess. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Besides, 
You're gay and Mexican, so at least it's in your blood, right? What? I'm, really, besides the drinking, you're not really Mexican. Sorry, I'm not what? Well, I mean like, um, look, and don't take this the wrong way, but you're not like every other loud, flamboyant, high-dressed, Spanish-speaking, gay Latin guy that I've seen, so, th th but that's good, because you've adapted, that, that's a good thing. So if I were this loud, flamboyant, Latina speaker, this conversation would never happen because you'd be too busy being a dick to someone else, right? Okay, I kind of ran into that one. Mm. But hey, you know, you're not fault free. No, no, you're right, you said it. I am a hot mess who doesn't know what he's doing, but, but I can at least accept that. Like, I don't know, you should probably accept the fact that you work at a mall kiosk. You say you don't, but you do. But, you know, whatever, it's, we're, we're not all fault free here. All right. Cool. So what are we doing? Let's just go back to my place and do what we're supposed to do, okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, do you mind if I drive with you or ride with you? How are you gonna get back? Mm -hmm. I'll take an Uber, relax. You wanna put your seatbelt on? Uh, in a sec. Listen, hey, things got a little out of hand back there and I, and I, and I wanna apologize. And, and I, I get what you're saying and I want you to know that I understand your people. My people? Yeah, I, uh, I listen to a Taylor Swift song here and then, and I've also undercooked my food, so I, I get what you're saying. It's a joke, dude. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this is why I don't talk to my hell cops. Hey, I hope you didn't think this was a date or something, right? I didn't, believe me. Okay, good. Put your seatbelt on. I will. Um... You know what? First, let me make it up to you. I want to apologize. Yeah, yeah. What well, feels good? It's a good start. Yeah, I'm bad. Are you okay? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye.